Hi guys, my name is Alicia. Since we're coming up on the holiday season, I thought it would be really fun to show you how to make a quick and easy dreidel inside of Autodesk Tinkercad. Halfway through the lesson, you'll find that there are a couple of different ways you can go about finishing your dreidel. You could print it out and paint it, or if you'd rather create the entire piece in Tinkercad, I'll show you how you can decorate it with Hebrew lettering so that it's ready to go straight from the 3D printer. So go ahead and open up Tinkercad right in your web browser so we can get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to grab a dice shape from the symbols panel over here on the right and let's resize this uniformly by holding down shift and dragging the corner out until it's about 30 millimeters and now we're going to drag this up and to make the bottom of the dreidel we're going to grab a paraboloid here from the geometry tab. So let's drag this out onto the work plane and we also want to scale this out until it is about 30 millimeters as well and we're gonna grab this little arrow to rotate it 180 degrees basically flip it upside down and let's shorten it so that it is let's go with 16 millimeters and just position it right underneath the dice shape here and now all we got to do is drag this down until it's resting on top of the paraboloid and just make sure that the paraboloid shape is not sticking out. Let's drag this down one more millimeter and now it's perfectly inside the circle of the bottom of the dice. Next all we need to do is create the little handle at the top of the dreidel and to do that we're going to grab a cylinder and we just want to scale it down to eight millimeters and take the white dot at the top and pull it up to lengthen it and we're just going to drag it to the center and I'm going to use the grid to make sure that I have it lined up exactly with the middle and I can grab all these now and let's make them all the same color. We'll go with a light brown and we're going to group them. Now you have the basic shape of the dreidel. So you can stop here if you'd like and um, print it out and maybe draw on the letters of the dreidel or paint them, whatever you'd like to do. Or if you'd like to keep going, we're going to go to the um, shape generators to carve the letters into the side of the dreidel. So in order to do this, we're going to go into the community shape generators and find the Hebrew text generator, drag it onto the work plane. So now we just need to get the individual letters that appear on the dreidel. And I just went on Google to the Wikipedia page so I could select these letters and command C, copy them. And I'm just gonna paste it into this test box here and it'll appear as a shape. So now we can rotate it 90 degrees drag it up to the front of the dreidel and center it and I'm going to move it up and push it back into the side of the dreidel and now we can turn it into a hole and when we group these objects it will be carved into the face of the dreidel here. Now I'm just going to rotate this 90 degrees and repeat this process for the other three letters. And there you have it. There's your completed dreidel and it's got the letters carved into the side and you're ready to save it and download it for 3D printing. Be sure to save your work as an STL file so that you can upload it to Kira Kira and print it out. Your friends and family are sure to be super impressed that you created your very own 3D printed dreidel this holiday season. Check out some of the other cool holiday classes we have available on our website to keep the fun going. Happy Holidays!